Viva ATM Viva Peace in our land Peace in our lifetime Our manifesto that we are unpacking today It is not promises We are unpacking what we are committing ourselves to do as a party We know that we are no longer living in a peaceful society and this threatens the social, economic, and po political stability. Year and year, crime is increasing in the country. And we know that in a society that is infested with crime, the economy can never grow. Hence, we find that the most important thing that we are focusing on, it is having peace in the country. Because when there is peace, then all other things will follow. Now, what we commit ourselves to do as the party on this pillar. Firstly, we'll transform our, ju our justice system by elevating components of the African customary law to be in the same level as the, as the Roman Dutch law, especially in the rural areas. Also review the parole system and deny bail for certain cat categories of crime. We do not understand why a criminal that has killed people is given bail. We'll also ensure that there is full integration of all former liberation movement soldiers, meaning your MK, Azanla, and APLA, into the security cluster to assist in combating crime. Because the states are saying almost 2.1 million crimes are recorded in one calendar year. We are in a period now where we are campaigning. We have the 16 days whereby we are campaigning of no violence against women and children. This campaign was started in 1998. It is 20 years later now, and the gender-based violence, in terms, is, instead of decreasing, it is increasing. We can't live in a society whereby the taking of human life is a normality. Because Ngoku, it seems as if we have accepted that Abandi Babulawa, it must disturb us that a 17-year-old will kill a 10-year-old because they fought with a girlfriend Yag. It must disturb us that 11 people died at Sondela this past week. It must disturb us when one taxi is shot 255 times because of people that do not want other people to live. We cannot live in a society whereby criminals are having it easy. Criminals are enjoying themselves and they are in peace and the majority of the South, Af South African citizens are living in fear. It is for that reason we are saying, if capital punishment must be brought back to restore order and restore peace in this country. 